I think that what happens during evolution is the competency of the parts make a ratchet for improved intelligence because now it's very hard to make improvements by improving the hardware, but improving the software is really, is really a powerful technique. And there's a great example of this. There's a great biological example of this, which is, um, there, there, and, and there's no, to, to my knowledge, there's no other model in biology that explains why this would be other than what I just told you. There are these flatworms called planaria. And these flatworms, they, uh, they regenerate in the way that, you know, if the, what they, the way they can reproduce is they tear themselves in half and then each half regenerates and now you've got two worms. Okay. So the interesting thing about that is that unlike us, when we have a mutation in our body, our children don't inherit that mutation, right? There's a separation of the germline. We, you know, we clean it up during sexual reproduction. <clears throat> these planaria, because they, because they re reconstitute half the body each time from both sides, they accumulate somatic mutations. So any mutation that doesn't kill the cell makes it into the next generation and gets amplified as the cell, you know, proliferates, right? So for 400 million years, these animals have accumulated these really uh, all, all kinds of mutations. Their genome is an incredible mess. They, um, they're, they're mixoploid. Every cell has a different number of chromosomes even. Okay, so the hardware description is all over the place. But they are champion regenerators. Their anatomy is 100% rock solid. Every single time they're cut, perfect.